guys what's up welcome to the sew with me number two for the adore sampler by thimble blossoms oh thimble blossoms i've been saying thimble blossom by camille ross kelly i got this kit from a fat quarter shop whom i shall link down below in the description box if you want to grab one and sew with me or just get the pattern and use your stash up to you Today, we're, I'm going to try to do two blocks per video because I think they're going to be pretty fast blocks. I think we'll have plenty of time to do that. So, in this video, we are making blocks one and two. Let's start with number one. Okay, first up. We're going to take these four rectangles and make flying geese units out of them. So right sides together. We're gonna sew corner to corner right down the middle. I didn't even have my sewing machine on. I waited very late in the day to start this. It's 8.30 <laughs> on, on Sunday night. This is going uh, Tuesday. It's Super Bowl Sunday, which I could care less about. We have not watched it today. I didn't even know who was playing until today. <laughs> The good thing about this was we went out to eat at a Mexican restaurant tonight. There was like nobody there. And that was nice. I didn't have to find any crowds. It's safe to say I do not follow the football. Here's one of my side pieces. I'm making a quilt on the side, an Irish chain out of one and a half scraps. I use that as my leaders and enders. Trim about a fourth of an inch away from your stitch on these. Press and do the other side. grab this one and finish it too. I've still been binging The Crown. I just started season two. I think I'm like episode two in. I'm really liking that show. And I'm really liking King Philip or Prince Philip or whatever this title would be, being married to the Queen, I don't know, but I'm really liking his character. Or him. He's a real person. I shouldn't say his character. And of course the Queen, loving her. And I'm learning so much about English history that I had no clue about. Which is interesting. Trim again. Oh, a little, little fat trim. There we go. It doesn't have to be precise. Just estimate it. 
And we're ready to start putting it together. So just gonna be a quick one. We're gonna attach it to these red squares. Two of them are gonna have the red square attachments. Told you these were gonna be quick, huh? Now, in her instructions, she doesn't have us put the star points on all the blocks until the very end, and I'm going to do them as we go. So, that's one thing I'm kind of skipping around on this. And that'll make the finishing go much quicker as well. We are pressing these to the red square. Pressing this to the middle, to the red. Now she has us cut these um, squares as we go, and she doesn't label them with letters. <gasps> oh no, y'all, I put this one on backwards. What a maroon. Dead gummit. It's supposed to go on like this. I need to press that again. To, uh, so I can keep it chain pieced. I'm going to make the star points come with this. Take A and C blocks that we cut at the first. She did have us pre-cut all the star legs. Or star points, whatever you want to call them. And we are going to sew to the left and the right of the center again. to the middle.
Sam paid me the nicest compliment tonight when we were at the restaurant and uh, <clears throat> anyway there was this man in there eating alone when we were in there and he had a book with him and he was reading it and I was he was like set across from us this way and I was so curious what he was reading right <laughs> so the waiter came over and asked if we need anything blah blah and I was like hmm I was like hey if you go over there and see what that man's reading I'll give you a little extra tip I'm just so curious about what that man's reading and he's like I got you and he, he, we watched him, he went over there and uh, asked him if he needed anything and then came back to us and told me he was reading Thursday Night Murder Club, which I've read two of those, I told you about those. I was like, oh, I knew it looked familiar. Anyway, um, Sam said, Sam told me that I had such good charisma. And I was like, oh, thank you, that is so sweet. So, my teenage son says, I've got Rias, y'all. I've got the Rias, the char charisma. Like I'd like it to, y'all. Something that's a little. I think I made my seams too small or something. Cause look, this right here. That's so not good. Of course, then I had to stop and talk to that man on the way out. Then I was thinking when I got to the car, I should have gave him my phone number. I should have asked him out. <laughs> what, why that thought just came over me? Because I've had no interest in dating for like 10 years. I just love a man that reads, right? That's so rare around here. I mean, very rare. I don't think I've ever dated any man that has read in my life more than a magazine or one sports biography. But I didn't. We left. time for that nonsense anyway. <laughs> I've had enough on my plate. There's gonna be a heartache tonight. A heartache tonight. I know. Lord, I know. Alright. Ooh, that should have turned out pretty good, didn't she? I'm not mad at her. You can beat around the bushes, you can clean around the stone. I'll be a heartache tonight. A heartache. I think I've got to square these down. Let's see. Um, yeah. Possibly. I know the last time we had to square them down too, but they were the right size already. We'll see how that goes. I think I've got this. Whoop. Almost messed that tone on tone up.
Now half of these we're pressing to the white and the other half we're pressing to the dark. Just like the other star points. And the reason is that you won't have big bumps on each of your intersections. These four that I've pressed are going to be to the dark, and the next four will be to the light. Go into the light! What was that little girl's name? Caroline? Caroline? One of those two, wasn't it? This house is clear. Let me get my square up. Yeah, they do need a little, little off the sides. Maybe one of these days when the kids are all grown and on their own, I'll consider maybe going on a date. I don't know. I think I might be retired from that. Why invite trouble? I'm perfectly happy already. <laughs> Probably better go ahead and pull this last one off so I can prep it as well. These are the ones that are pressed to the light. Sam and I are doing story time tonight. He's reading to me. He's reading me his death notebooks. And I'm reading him my Little House on the Prairie books. He does 
really good at narration. Oh, he told me tonight what he thinks he's going to do in college now. Um, he wants to be, get his doctorate in psychology and be a professor and um, do research and such. Which I think that would be fabulous. And Stella's like, so when are you moving out? <laughs> oh my gosh. Not for a long time, I'm assuming. But she's saying he's going to stay here, local, and here in the house, at least for the f next two years. Because he's going to get his basics. Um, literally, like, there's like a community, um, community college, like, literally a mile and a half from my house. And you can get your basics there, you know, much cheaper, and they transfer to an accredited college. So he's going to do that for the first two years, which I think is very smart. And then transfer to the college of his choosing to get, to finish his bachelor's and get his doctorate. Okay. We've got those done. Now we can add our star points. I gotta get the blocks. So over here. Hold please. Four B blocks. So we're going to do B attached to a pressed to the dark square. And a press to the light square attached to a B. square attached to the white and again I hope I put that one right side up the right way. I don't think it does it matter? Oh my god. I guess I'm gonna find out. So finished non patch for my stash.
This fabric is so freaking pretty, y'all. I knew it. Bastier day. We meet again, lover. It does matter. It does matter. Now we know. Looks really good. Bam. Bam. Look how much that's hanging over. Pretty. My points are there. Oh, don't jinx yourself, girl. Don't jinx yourself. Goodbyes. 
all these squares. The inner squares, guys, are going to come out at eight and a half. But the whole thing put together, I'm 16 and a half. My bedtime alarm just went off and shut the phone off. <gasps> That's freaking, look. That is perfect. Yes, girl. Whew, one more side. One more side. Now this one, the other one was lined up perfectly and I didn't feel like I needed to pin. I might need to this one because it's a little bit over. Cause it's much too late for goodbye. It's hot in here. I'm gonna pause myself after this one and go ahead and go to bed and <clears throat> finish this video in the morning. Or not in the morning. Sometime tomorrow. I am off tomorrow, so hopefully I'll get some good sewing done. I know I always say that, and then I sit there and play on my phone and waste time until it's almost bedtime. I'm going to start tomorrow. My Queen Elizabeth impersonation. Hello, Philip. Philip. Hello. Do you remember that TV show, The Tudors? Oh, I love that one, about Henry VIII. And they had that actor that played him that's drop dead gorgeous and all. Woo! Swoon worthy. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm so excited. All right, let's look at this one. That looks freaking awesome, if I do say so myself. I'm giving myself an A plus on this guy. Besides that one place I showed y'all earlier that was a little off. She's so good. Where is that place? I can't even see it now. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. All right, let's start on the next one. All right, now we can start on block a tail. Block two, let me find the instructions. Don't you love how I'm always so prepared? Okay. So we're gonna take, here's my cuts. We're gonna put together these guys boop, 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 like that watching the crown and I'm freaking loving it. I think I'm still on season two. Maybe I just started season three. Uh, I can't remember, but it's so good. She's been queen for about 10 years at this point. Okay. 
Okay, now we're going to pull these off. I was fixing to go through my whole spiel about the leaders and enders, but then I remember this is a continuation of the previous video, even though it's a different day to me. This is going up tonight, so I'm taking my break from work to try and finish it, because <clears throat> I didn't end up sewing it all yesterday, even though I had plans to do so all day. I did zero. So I have about 30 minutes before I have to go back to work and hoping I can finish this. So we're going to match each of these like that. Here's a finished nine patch, and we're pressing these to the solids. Such pretty little box, and then my finished nine patch. Put that away. <clears throat> okay. So we're just going to alternate these like this. This is the top row. them together. That's it for that. Yeah, I told you it was going to be a quick one. And now we have to do our star points. <clears throat> Which is A and C, two at a time, half square triangles. This will take longer than the block itself, I think. 
So not down the middle, remember to the left and the right of the middle. We'll turn this up a little bit. breakfast which I almost always have my vegetarian sausage links from Morningstar Farms and a cup of coffee and then for lunch I had two rolls with butter <laughs> I'm still hungry <clears throat> but it's getting kind of late I know I'm gonna be cooking supper in a couple of hours so I'm trying not to eat anything more so I'll be hungry for supper because I'm planning on making lemon pepper chicken from uh, <clears throat> dinnerly tonight for supper. And if I ever eat a normal lunch, I'm not hungry for supper, so. <clears throat> That's lined up perfectly, and it's super cute. Look how that intersects. It's hard to tell there. The intersection is perfect. All right, go back through with these. phone alarm to go off when I have to go back to work so I don't miss it. Okay. Trim right down the middle. And we're going to press to the dark. She works hard for money. Not really, but so hard for it, honey. Pretty relaxed. <laughs> she works hard for her money, so you better treat her right. Tonight. Now remember, we're going to do half of these pressed to the dark and half of these pressed to the light. So it'll cut down on some seam bumps. So these last four are all pressed to the white side. To the light. All right, so we're going to take this go. This go. Oh, shoot, I forgot I'm supposed to square these up. Don't you know I'm in a hurry? Oh Lord, yeah, I definitely need to. They are in need of a trim.
trying to keep them separate, the different pressed blocks. I might be getting, hopefully I am, getting that designer mystery block of the month in soon. They don't really send us tracking on those, so I don't know when it's due here, but um, they sent it out on Thursday, so I'm hoping it's here by now. On Tuesday. Should be. Anyway, if I get it in, I'll put that saw with me up this weekend for that. Designer Mystery Block of the Month. I just thought of that because I know there's, I, I haven't, like this I'm doing the star points as I go instead of saving them to the end. And I haven't been doing that with that Designer Mystery. Gonna have a big job ahead of me with that finishing. <gasps> oh, oh man, I caught the side of that ruler. I felt that in my bones. Not literally, but cognitively. Ooh, give me the heebie-jeebies. Hey, when I do that, shave off a little part of my ruler. Those rotary cutters are sharp. It's a surgery scalpel. Almost done now. One more. Oh, this one got a little wonky on me. Now, be sure and check those low volumes. Make sure you got the right side, right side up. It's hard to tell.
pretty good time. I might be able to actually do this on my break fully. Let's just get all this pressed now. Why do I do this every time? Let me put this on first before I get mad at myself. Let's put that. <laughs> so aggravating. Looks like I'm gonna have to rip something. Gosh. So frustrating. did I do? There's one that's right. I think I must be directionally um, handicapped. I cannot get these right to save my friggin' life. Alright. <sighs> Jack to the rescue. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, woman, oh, woman, don't you treat me so mean. You're the meanest old woman I ever seen. I guess if you say so, I'll have to take my thing and go. That's right, hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more. The road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Don't care if you do, cause it's understood. You ain't got no money, oh, just no good. That looks good. Don't you treat me so mean You're the meanest old woman I ever seen Don't care if you do Cause it's understood You ain't got no money Oh, just no good I guess if you say so I'll have to pack my things And go, that's right Hit the road, Jack Don't you come back No more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack don't you come back no more. What'd you say? Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more. Understood, you ain't got no money, you're just no good. So I guess if you say so, I'll have to pack the thing away. Don't care if you do,
One more side. Oops, sorry. I'm always hitting y'all and I'm trying to reach over here and iron. Um, get her pressed and we'll take a look at her there she is gals and guys she's cute turned out really nice I think I'm going to give her an A not an A plus because the long lines here were just a little too long and look, I lost the blue there. It should be there. Well, my points barely, but. And then here, this was a little too long. Hmm. But oh well. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me. See you at the next.